Hello Sea Stars and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Alicia with Sea Star Soap Company. And don't mind me today, I it is my anniversary, so you know, I have to look somewhat decent. <laughs> I almost never get dressed up for anything because I'm constantly working, but I've been better nowadays about making time to do things. So, but anyway, <laughs> This is gonna be a continuation of our sugar scrub vlog. This is my dream sugar scrub. So I was experimenting with this one and the consistency of this scrub is nothing that I ever felt before. I had my Patreon, Rebecca, try out the recipe. She couldn't even describe it to me. I wanna say it's like a Play-Doh scrub, very moisturizing. It holds its consistency and it is very pliable. I love, love, love this scrub. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, stay tuned. Okay, so for my dream sugar scrub, in phase A, we nixed the xanthan gum in this recipe, and I kept the SLA as a surfactant, and then now we're gonna add the cocoa bentain, now I did keep this because I liked the suds it created at the end. And if you guys know, when you see the recipe, phase A is very comparable to the moisturizing sugar scrub. Now we add the sodium lactate. We're gonna add our glycerin. And I believe I decreased the glycerin amount just a tiny bit. It's always good to have a humectant in any anything that comes into contact with your skin because we wanna draw moisture to the skin. You don't want anything that's gonna to be too drying. Once you have everything in phase A measured out, go ahead and mix this. You'll get a light marshmallow type of consistency. Once you're done thoroughly mixing your phase A ingredients, go ahead and throw this on the double boiler. This is gonna take longer to melt down than our actual oils. So I like to just throw it on before we measure out our phase B ingredients. So now we're moving on to phase B. I like to add all my ingredients that are harder to melt first. That way it's at the bottom of the container and it comes into contact with the double boiler method and melts down faster. Of course, we're gonna start with the emulsifying wax. I have not changed the percentage on it and also the citel alcohol. I did go up on the amount of that ingredient just because I wanted it to be a little bit more thicker. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our oils and butters. And if you know, in this recipe, I did add avocado butter as well as coconut oil. I did keep shea butter in there. I find that when I put shea butter into my, into my sugar scrub recipes, that it does keep the sugar scrub soft. So we're gonna get that melted down and once phase A and phase B are melted down, we are going to combine them. I like to use a whisk to mix these together. I am not gonna use my emulsion blender just because it has the cocoa bentane in it. We don't want this really sudsy now. So using a whisk or spatula, to mix it up is a lot better. Now you will get a lotion type consistency with this, which is what we're going for. And that is an indicator that this is gonna be very moisturizing. So once this reaches a temp of 110, um, I'm gonna add in my preservative, vitamin E and fragrance oil. So my preservative I love using is Optifin. A lot of makers struggle with Optifin but I believe it's the temperature that you are adding the Optifin at. So if you notice that your emulsion is breaking, that oils are seeping out, you possibly need to raise the temperature that you are adding the Optifin in. I notice whenever I have the AC going and my mixture is cooling fast, I need to add the Optifin when it's at 120 degrees. We're gonna add this to our mixture and let this mix for about five, 10 minutes, just so that it's well incorporated. Once it's mixed well, we are gonna add in our sugar. 
And for this in particular scrub, you guys will note that the amount of sugar is less. And I did make two of these batches, so at the end I will show you the difference between using more sugar and the one with less sugar. Okay, I'm gonna break this in half and then add in my colorant. I picked a stormy blue mica that I got from Brambleberry for this one. And then now on to piping. I know this is gonna be a great scrub just by the consistency. And look at that, oh. And now we are going to test it. So I'm gonna dampen my hand, wet the product a little bit, if I want to get this more foamier, all I have to do is wet it and do you see how it performs once you wet it a second time. You get the foam, the moisture is incredible with this one and it is definitely my customer's favorite scrub. This sat in a cold basement about 50 degrees for two weeks, and as you can see, it has not lost its structure. A lot of times your shower gets really cold. It is one of the coolest places in your house. The worst thing you can have happen is your sugar scrub harden up on you and it's very hard to use. So as you can see, I tried scooping it with a spoon and it is that pliable without even using xanthan gum. This is so soft. I mean, this is so soft and luxurious. It's just so amazing. And even though this product is very pliable, I can roll it up into a ball and it keeps its structure. This scrub was me using less sugar. Well, we're gonna move on to the second batch I did with a lot more sugar. And as you can see, it is a lot thicker. It doesn't have much of the elasticity as the other one, but it's still pliable. You can tell that the texture changed with the amount of sugar that was added. So if you guys want more of what the blue scrub offers, add less sugar. If you like a more thicker scrub, chunkier scrub, go ahead and add more sugar and it will come out the consistency of the green scrub. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.